everybody and welcome once again to all of fabric free today we're going to go back to the nether and we're going to do some mining but of course there's a few things i'd like to make first so let's get started so what we're going to make today are some storage as you can see i've got stuff prepared here we're going to make two the very thing, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a better bow we can make a diamond bow um from gate of babylon now the gate of babylon have quite a lot of weapons and it's actually quite they're quite interesting i don't know why i didn't spot this one before so in here gate of babylon you've got stone bows iron bows golden bows and diamond bows and i guess that they're all doing a bit more doesn't really tell you um how much oh, enchantability is 10 enchantability is 15 do we do that another okay maybe we do that so maybe i'll leave the enchanting of this one till later on it's also got some uh, shields, which I've already made one of those, but it's also got some quite nice weapons. So this uh, netherite ore axe, for example, gives you 15 attack damage and 0.5 speed. It's a bit slow <laughs> in comparing to the nano saber, which is giving you 21 and, uh, and an attack speed of 6. So they're earlier game type weapons, as you can see. So, and you've also got some things like daggers, which is a fast sort of uh how much do, what do they use one diamond is pretty easy actually that one wouldn't be a bad weapon to start with it's a fast a, a relatively low damaged weapon so the next thing we're going to make is here we're going to start off what we actually want to do is well i'd like to make an advanced storage unit now for that let's have a look at this one because this is also a tech reborn so reborn and the advanced storage unit is this one now to make that you need two basic storage units and to make two basic storage units you need display basic displays which are basically f f four iron four refined iron plates some black dye electronic circuit and the gas plate no actual big deal except for the um black dye now i found a good solution for black dye so let's make those two up there because we need two of these and we put those into here like that as you can see i've already prepared the crude storage unit we've done this before they're basically just planks around a um barrel with a piece of paper gives you a crude storage unit you could, we could have used these much earlier on anyway so that'll give us two of these so the next thing along here would be to make the digital display unit which is for this particular one here now that's slightly harder because we're using aluminium plates for us it's no problem anymore so we'll make one of these like that oops try again make that and then we can actually finish this off with electron plates and advanced machine casing and advanced circuits it's actually not too bad once you have got used to this and this thing will store 360 well 32k of items basically 512 stacks so it has a fairly good storage this one in the case is 32 stacks so which isn't too bad either but for for a wooden storage unit this one's 8k so this one is suddenly jumps up a lot and we're going to need it because we're going to store a lot of lava now black black dye how do we do this the easiest way i found is to take some um appetite or or some um potash so we can take some potash here and then we can simply right click some of the plants so over here by the hair i've set up some plants i've been going around collecting a few plants and this one here is the black bat orchid so you right click this with that and it gives you one of these plants so you can simply put that in here like this and yourself sort of in your own crafting you two by two crafting table you can actually make some black dye from minecraft simple as that and that seems to work at almost all of these plants as you can see it works on roses uh, light blue you can do this and you can make some light blue dye and of course this will make a red dye and so you can make dyes very easily with this so it's always been worthwhile picking up the potash as i've been going along um so let's just put those away i've got some space in here i think for that type of stuff black i should also go in here i'm not sure not sure about that we'll put it in there for timing and we'll put the potash back into the into the gems chest like that so as you can see very handy indeed and very easy so the next thing we're going to do is to make a dank now danks are great 
and I've actually got one set up in here. So this is the dock. We have to make the dock. So that's just black concrete. We all know how to make black concrete, I hope. It's basically from concrete powder. If I can see it. Black concrete, black concrete powder is basically gravel, sand and some black dye will make eight of these. So you only need four gravel, four sand and one black dye to make this black concrete powder. And then you just put that into water. And all I was doing to put it into water was dropping against this post here, uh, right clicking against this post, drops into the water, turns into concrete and then knocking it out. So we can make one of these like that. And this is very handy. It basically allows you to put the, let's put it down for example here like that and then you can automate your docks with this one so the next one here is a dank one i actually made one by accident so i'm not going to I'm not going to make another one i'm going to keep this so this is just one barrel with some coal around it, it makes a dank one and then the uses of this is, does it tell me yes it does it so it's a bag type and it's got oh that's the current style it's set as a bag and it stores 256 items not really fit a lot but you can then right click this and you get this um, bag and you, can, and you can sort the items here you can do an automatic pickup um, and you can tag I'm not sure what the tag does to be honest with you I should really look at that one <laughs> so, so we won't tag that for the time being but we can then use this in the next level up so we put this uh, it's got yes it's got highlighted now so it's as you see it's glowing so this one will make 1024 items or st stack limit so it's got a very good stack and this is one we just gold blocks we can put it in this one we can make this one so this has got 4096 um it actually kept the settings which is quite nice so now it's got um, three times nine, so 27 stacks, stackable items in it. And they, they take, I'm pretty sure they take quite a lot of each items as you go along here. So we can then put this into the middle of here and then you can feed it with items. For example, you could put, put a bow in it and it keeps it. So we can then break the bow. Let's do that. In fact, you can actually also take it out. So this should now, if we come along here and we have a look at this, it's still got the bow in, which is great. Um, so it's another means of baking a shortcut chest. And you can shift right click it out, I think. Yeah. So you can get it out of with, without this. And the dock you allows you to pump stuff into it. Now I was trying to use this here, and I think there's a way to automatically change this. So it um no, I'll come to that later on. Because now we're going to go to the nether. And I'll see you over where in a few seconds when we're there. In fact, we'll go the easy way. <laughs> the easy way is from this is to I need one X one XP. We'll go over this, go over here, and I'll go into this one here and I'll take this. It doesn't actually use my XP up, I think that's a bug. But I just select another here and then I'm in this area as almost immediately. So I'll go down and I've got um a shulker box here with stuff already in it prepared for what we need today um what i'm going to do is i'm basically got two miners well, actually i've got three miners in here and i've also made some more turtles here but i forgot to get the bows for, um, th bows the pickaxes for these i have to go back and make those right i'll see you in a second right i'm back with some uh, pickaxes but there's a ghast over there let's see if we can go and get the ghast let's turn on the engine and just fly over here there he is we've got so i want to get to be reasonably near to him so he doesn't if he drops a ghast here we pick it up and I th we did get one that time i think no we got some gunpowder never mind so i'm just going to go down over here there's obviously it's obviously broken something here because i can see there's a block missing from that we've got some other block i'll just put that in there for the time being and then go down to where i've got the um thing set up which is just down here um let's turn off the, this again and go that way backwards so i've just turned off my jetpack you'll also notice here i have got uh some stuff turned on uh, in the mini map so you can see this i've got mobs turned on here um and now you can see i've got some there's some striders marked down there so what we can 
I've got this area sort of prepared. It's not quite right. I think I need to be back one block. I think I've got a block too low. So what we need to do is I need to put down a chest here. So I've got in in the let's put it down here first of all. Let's put down the shulker box. Did I pick up the shulker box? I didn't. <laughs> oh, I did get gas tire. Fantastic. First one of those. All right, I'll be back. I'll go and get the box from upstairs. So here we've got the shulk box. I'm going to take these two diamond chests out, if you like that. Um, they are going to be the storage for the items which we're going to get in uh, from the mine. I've also got these two mi three miners. I'm going to take those out. I've got enough space. I have, yes, good. I'll put some junk away that I don't need, so we'll put those away. So now here I'm going to put down a diamond chest. And the reason I'm doing that, I need some more netherrack from that slot there. I haven't got any at the moment. We need, do need actually a reasonable amount of netherite. I should have brought some with me because I've got stacks. <laughs> Back at base we've got stacks. Maybe I'll go and get some because we need a stack of that before we start. So let's just put this down here. I have prepared this area a little bit, but not very much as you can see. So we can put these two together like that. And then we can put into this in a hopper. To, um, and that will be in here, of course. I've got two hoppers set up ready for those. And what's going to happen is we'll put a hopper into this chest and then we're going to put a standard chest on here. Now the reason I'm going to put a standard chest on here is because in the pack or in this program that we're going to use, it doesn't have all of the uh, types of chests defined. It certainly has Minecraft chests defined as where it's going to go back to to detect when we're finished. So Minecraft chests don't have much space and we're going to get a lot of items from this mine. and. So they're going to get fed into this double chest here. Also, this needs uh, an input for when it comes back. It, the, 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 the turtle will come back here and sit here. And then it has to, from this place here, we need to provide it with cobblestone, uh, netherrack. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put this advanced storage unit. The advanced storage unit only takes one type of item. Uh, you can't have multiple items in here like the dock and the only thing we have to do is configure the input from to being the top side like that we do not want to set auto input on this that's actually very important otherwise it pulls everything out um, and we can push these three actually we need these three nether racks we'll keep those with us for the time being and then here beside that it needs a hopper another hopper so let's just break these two here that was too aggressive. Put that back in here like that. And I need a hopper pointing to this block here. So let's just, let's just put, sorry, I will be cushions and active again. Uh, let's just put this down here like that. So that's feeding into this place. Now I can't get out again, so I'm going to have to break my way out. Actually, it's not, it's quite handy having a little area here that we can actually go around here like that. So, the, so the, the turtle comes back here and this is going to feed it with torches. So in here I should have some torches prepared, which I have like that. We'll just put those, we'll put a stack of those in there and we'll leave the other ones in here. We also need a, oh, I need more than 22 um, redstone torches, but we'll get it started to, to go on with first of all. And we can then carry on from there. We can actually run the program more than once. So I'm going to take one of my, um, this one, I'll use general. It seems like a good one to use. This basically it has got a crafter and it's got a pickaxe on it. So what we need to do with this is we need to fill it up with some items. Um, what does it do with the netherrack? <laughs> did I put the netherrack in here? Oh, I did, good. So the first thing it's got to have in slot one, it's got to have the block, block we're detecting as a standard wall item. So we're going to say netherrack, obviously. And then it's going to replace netherrack with netherrack. In the overworld, we'll put stone here and cobblestone in here. Then it needs some torches. Um, so we've just put standard torches in here. And in the end slot, it needs some redstone torches. I need about 40 for doing this. And then it needs some fuel. Now. The easiest way to do fuel actually is what I've got here. So I've got 16 lava cells. Very handy. We'll take an empty bucket with us like this. Uh, I've got six empty buckets. We need some spare. Uh, you'll see why later on. So what I can do is I can just break a slot down here, for example. 
put into that one of these lava cells, right click it, and then right click this, it takes it out again. So, handy way of actually doing this type of thing. So, right click this and let's put it into the 16th slot here, this lava bucket. And then we'll start the program. Um, I'll just be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to make sure that the programs all correctly moved around. So what we do then is we want to do a safe branch. We want to do the main branch and we'll do 10 blocks along. Now it should work because it'll dig 10 blocks down from here. It needs to be one block. It needs to be in the middle and it needs to be one block in front of here. So it restocks cobblestone. It can't get any cobblestone. Um, so it should carry on like this and then it should come down here and it should start to mine up cobblestone if it doesn't it i think it takes two goes to do this for some reason or other it's probably a little bug yeah now it starts so not having enough uh, netherite isn't really a problem it just goes around this little bit twice so when it's gone along five blocks it will put down a torch we're going to end up with stacks and stacks of netherrack, by the way. That's why I've decided to use this thing here. It's empty at the moment, so now it's restocking again. I think it's probably restocking uh, netherrack. It does this about two or three times before it finishes. And it, then it'll have enough to carry on. And when it's got enough, we can then restart it and it'll go off and do its business for quite a long way. In fact, I think I'll probably get it to go about 100 blocks. So when it's gone past the first bit here, we can start to do the side branches. So that's the first redstone torch. This redstone torch tells the side mine, the side branches, which direction that the the chest is in, that the the item chest is this one here, which is empty at the moment. Of course, it'll always be empty. It'll come into here anyway. It tells it where this uh, this area is here. Now it puts down a torch. When this torch is down here, we can now start doing the side mine. The side mine. So let's just put one miner down here like this, and put down a second miner here. Before we do that, let's fill it up. Make sure we've got everything we need for it. So we need two buckets of lava, and that's basically it. I'm probably going to have to pinch some. Oops, netherrack from here. Let's see if I can try that again because I haven't got enough netherrack. Yeah, I can pinch half this, these nether racks here, so we can do that. So again, we can do this one. We can put in one nether rack starting, one nether rack here, and we need some torches and haven't got enough. So let's just take out oh, half of these. Let's take, yeah, that'll do. Fine. It'll be fine. We, it reuses a lot of the torches anyway, and they go into the third slot like this. So then we do a safe branch. And I'm going to do a safe branch. I'm going to do a side branch. And I'm going to do it 60 blocks long. I'm going to say it moves to the right and there's one turtle at the moment. In fact, there are actually two turtles. So we're going to put down two turtles here on this side. So it's going to mine and it's going to do that. And it needs some fuel, of course. Let's put that into here. Right. I forgot to put the fuel bucket in. It's already got some fuel in it from previous runs. So this is going to mine out here. And this one is we can put down the next one down here like this. Let's get the next turtle going. I should have a third turtle already prepared, so we'll do that one like this. So again, make sure we put the lava in it. We've got two blocks of another act, which isn't really very much, and we've got 13 of these. So we can tell this one to do the same thing. So we shall tell it to do a safe branch. We're going to do a side branch. We're going to do it 60 blocks long. We're going to then move to the left with two turtles in the thing. Makes it go a lot faster, two turtles, by the way. It's going to try and restock something it hasn't got at the moment <laughs> because it hasn't got enough um, netherrack. Well, I think it should work. If it doesn't, I'll have to pinch some more netherrack. There's probably plenty of netherrack here in this one. So let's just take out some of that there. And then we put this down here. It's probably going to go and do this loop for a... Oops, don't want to do that. I want to put the netherrack in there. Okay. And then it says you've got to wrench it, which means you've got to use this wrench. Otherwise, it deletes everything that's in here. Could be painful. Actually, it did it. It started without me having to do that. Okay, so now 
we're going to tell this one to go along a little bit further. Before I do that, I'm going to put down two more turtles here and here. So let's do let's get these two turtles prepared here like this. I think I can do it. I haven't sure. Let's just see if this mm, let's, be, let's be safe and do it like this. And you can craft these with a pickaxe instead of having to do anything else. You can do it like that. So we can put this one down here. And we can put this one down here. There's nothing going to be interfering with this. Again, they're opposite the torch, not the redstone torch. Um, the program should already be set up, but these are new turtles. So we'll give these a name. So we'll give this one a label. Set. And we're going to call it Minor 2, I think. We've got a Minor 1 already. So this is Minor 2, and we'll call the next one below as Minor 3. It's important to do this. It used to be very important because only whenever you broke it, um, let's try minor. It it changed the ID of the thing, which means all the programs you've got stored in it went into a different folder in your in your um, in the saves directory. This is where they actually get saved. There's actually a save directory. Then you'll find the current save, and then it'll do that. In fact, what you can hear now is something else. It's a miner going along here. So, so this is ready. We need some lava for it, for both of them, and they need some torches and some red and some and the rest of the bits. So let's just get that prepared. I need is some um, lava, don't I? Get buckets of lava. Put get the buckets out. I wanted them in here. I've got five buckets. We'll actually do five buckets of lava, I think. Just like that. Takes a few seconds, if you're fast with your fingers. Actually, I'm using a mouse wheel to scroll between the two. So we can come along here and we can put those into here. That goes into slot 16, of course. Same for this one. Uh, now we need some netherrack. Maybe this guy hasn't got much netherrack. He's got enough torches, so we'll pinch some of his torches. Um, you need about 11 torches, I think, to do um, 60 blocks. It does, because it puts down all the torches first of all, and then it digs them up, uh, half, half of them up afterwards. So you need, it goes every five blocks to start with. And that, after that, it's not too bad. So let's go along here. Maybe one of these guys has got some more. Got a bit of XP dropped down there. Yeah, it's got a stack of. I want that stack, don't I? So he's got plenty of. He's got plenty of in here, and this guy's doing gravel. Gravel works very nicely with this program as well. So we'll take that from here. You can see he's got some gravel and some of that. So right now, which one shall we do first? Doesn't make much difference. Just put one in of that, and then put those into there like that. Put in eleven torches and then tell it to go. And it's going to take this lava bucket first because it's a brand new turtle. So we're going to do again, safe branch. We're going to say it's a side branch. It's got to go to the right when it's finished to get the next one. So it's 60 blocks long, right, and there are two turtles. You'll see what happens when they've, they've finished, what that means. At the moment, we've actually got a slight problem because I've got to move this one along a little bit more. This one in front of me, just a little bit more. And that's enough. It should come along here and take this lava bucket, which we can put the next one in. So it's got enough for the next bit. While, we, while we're here, let's go along further forward with this one. I need to put this in here, and then it might go back again. In fact, let me just go and get some more. I don't think there's any in here yet, but they will start to finish off. It does take quite a long time to run this program, as you can, as you can see. Oh, that was fast. So let's just put this one into there like that. That should be enough. I think it needs 64. Otherwise, it's going to mess around a bit. So I've got to go and pinch some more from this one. That's why I said I should have got this from home before I came in here, but I forgot. Again, let's take half of that. That'll do. And take all of that. Let's take actually half that again. So we've got 48. 8 plus those 52. Right. And you'll see there's there's some more up here. So this has picked up something other than that. And it's actually picked up some nether gold 
or I decided not to stop these automatically you can do that as well so here we go this one here needs oh I want to get this one running first in so let's just put push that into that wrong try again okay so we're going to do the just press, press the up arrow key and it will carry on for the next 10 blocks like that so this one we can start up setting up again so we want to set it up one of those some of those and some torches and we'll do a safe branch side branch 60 blocks long it moves to the left and it's got two um turtles in the in mining turtles in this process So it's taking the lava as you see and we can put it's not moved far enough away yet to drop its interface when it's moved further enough away it will drop its interface so every all these all these uh, things are now working um smoothly uh, and i'm going to wait until one of these two has finished uh its run at the moment we're okay we don't have too much problem you'll also notice on the minimap i'm getting information about items See this one has an experience orb. So so this one's dropped an experience orb here. So I can go and pick it up, I think. I think the experience orb might be behind one of these blocks. Now how do I do that? How do you see in the minimap what blocks we've got going? So let's have a look. Oh yes, it's got some nether quartz in there. And so that's probably that's where the experience orb was from last time, so I picked it up. So what you do, I'll stand a little bit away from in here and we'll have a look at the the minimap setting so on the keyboard it's standard is y and the entity radar is the one we're interested in and you'll see here i've got different colors so dark purple i actually prefer light purple for other entities so items have got set up to uh, aqua and tame mobs blue hostile mobs are red friendly mobs are green play as well i'm the only player doesn't matter what color they are and so i've got here I've set the names to being always, so you always see what the, that item is. Um, player list, I don't really care about that for the time being. Icons and heads, um, I don't think it matters. So um, maybe you can see a dog with a dog, which is not sure to be done, honestly, really, because I haven't got to, I haven't got any tamed animals yet. But you can see on here. There's some striders in front of us over there. So there must be a reasonably sized lava lake in front of us. And then if you press Z on the keyboard, you zoom in on it. So you can see in front of me, on the other side over there, there was an experience hub. It's not really worth going picking these things up, but why not? You, you've got nothing to lose, have you? Now, one problem with this program is you've got to be here. <laughs> you have to stay here all the time. Now you can AFK. And the way I've been AFK, you can't just stay here. It's too dangerous. Let's be honest. It really is just too dangerous. I can I can make some iron doors. I've actually got some backup base. Um, which I could wish I could use, but let's just make some more iron doors. I think. No, I'll tell you what. I'll go and get the ones at base, and I'll be back in a second. No, I decided not to go back to base because if I go back to base, what happens is the chunks get lost and the drones stop and the turtles stop working. So, but I've got an iron door here, so we can break this one up like that. We can put it down here. And what I do with this is I put a piece of um, well block above it. So what have we got for blocks? Um, we should have plenty of none in here yet. But there should be plenty around. As soon as one of these guys gets full, let's go and pinch them out of here because he's got an experience orb dropped here. Uh, yeah, some nether rack in here. It's also got nether quartz, as you see. Now, the problem is mobs will spawn here. So in this area, mobs will go to spawn. So what we need to do is we need to put down a lever if I have got one. If not, then I'm going to have to think about a different way of doing it. Um, I'm not sure I've got any. So I don't, there's nothing in here. Oops, break that one up. I 
don't think I've got anything in my backpack. I'm not sure. So I'll press the spray too many times. I've got... Oh, yes, I can look. I've got some plenty of stone and I've got some sticks. So I can make a lever. In fact, I can make a button too. We can make a button because we need... Have I got some planks with us? I'm not sure it works with us, but we could actually craft this up. Now, I should have my crafting thing in here. My portable crafting table is always handy to have with you. Like this. And then we can make a, a furnace up. Like that. We could actually put two sticks in the furnace and that will cook up one piece of stone. So let's do that. Let's just put the furnace down here for the time being. So I want two sticks in here with one piece of cobblestone. That'll make that'll be enough to make a button, and the other one I can use to make a lever. So we're going to put a, a button on this side at the top. That's done already. So a stone button. On here, and then we can right click this onto that like that, press this button, and then we can go in here. Then it closes automatically, and then on this side here, I can put the lever on the side of this block, and then I can leave it open. So now, as you can see, these guys are still working, I think. Yes, they're still working, and this one is working in lava now. I just saw it working in lava and gravel, I think it was working in lava. It should be by the looks of it. It's on the mini map. We've got a lava pool just above us. And you'll see how it's handling gravel because the gravel drops down and it digs up the next one. Oh, look. That was something else. That was. So, turn a look. So, that was sulfurite dust. You can see now it's working nicely on gravel. There should be a block of lava here. I'm sure of it. So it causes a little hole above this, but that doesn't matter very much. We're not, the mobs aren't going to be going through that hole, so we're safe enough. And I'm sure there was lava, so... Oh no, okay. And you see it's put, put torches every five blocks here. There's an experienced orb coming along with me on this side here. So there must be an experienced orb here. Orb here. And here's a bit of gravel because sometimes they drop gravel gravel's not not so important but what is important is the other stuff and these will stop under various conditions um so if you find something valid what i think consider valuable which would have been normally emeralds and um diamonds i, I then stop it and then mine those that with silk touch or something like that because you can't put silk any enchanted uh, tools on these things. It's a shame, really. That would make life a lot easier if you could. So they're carrying on. And then all of a sudden, I hope, I'm going to wait until one of these is finished. So I'll see in a few seconds when something's finished. And when I want to be safe, I just come along here, close the door, AFK for a while, and then come back again. So I'll see you in a few seconds. So this one has now finished its run and you'll see what it's doing it's coming back in the middle here and it's going to take out every alternative torch so it refreshes its torches which means that the torches are every 10 blocks as you can see it's coming back here now and because it's not full if it was full it would come back and it would empty out its inventory it will simply move along to the next position which is two blocks down here as you can see so it should be here so what we'll do is we'll just tell it to go again. Uh, it's got it hasn't it's got plenty of stuff in here, so we'll let's just get this one going again. And, that, and it should fill itself up and then come back and refresh itself. So that's what the two means. The next one to, to do should be this one over here. That should come in second. Um, what I can do here is I can there's one zombie pigmen. Zombie pigmen are a problem, but. The nano sabers are one hit weapon for them, so they wouldn't actually attack you if you're if you get them in a clean kill like that. If they're not clean, then it, it has problems, <laughs> as you may well have experienced. Piglins, on the other hand, are actually a pain. They will attack you. That's why you have to be protected. 
uh, in a box like this when you're AFKing away. So, right, I've finished with that. I shall be back in a minute when the mine is completed. I'm going to go back and get some more torches, and then I'm going to go and um, let it mine the way through to about 100 blocks along here and then 60 blocks on each side, and we'll have a look at what we get. See you in a second. Well, I haven't got time to go on this today, so next time I'll carry on and we'll finish this tunnel and we'll see what we get in this diamond chest just in front of me. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.